What's up, y'all? We're six weeks out from Olympia, and this is about the time where you just don't give a shit about what you look like, so I'm sorry. I'm not sorry that I didn't do my hair, and I don't care to get somewhat dressed. Like, you're welcome. I got somewhat dressed. <laughs> um, we are headed up to uh, see Kim, Papa Kimbo, uh, Body by O, that's my coach. Uh, we're headed up to Temecula to see him about an hour and change. So have a nice little car ride sesh for you. Um, I'm feeling really good. I'm in a really good place um, physically, I believe, and uh, well, I guess we'll find out. There's nothing like going to see your coach and your coach is like, you fucking suck. Go fix yourself. And you're like, okay. But I hope that's not the case because uh, working really hard over here. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm feeling really good uh, physically. Still very demanding and, and uh, taking about like three Epsom salt baths a week um, just for soreness. It's, it's helping. Um, little tip, I don't take uh, warm Epsom salt baths. I take like lukewarm slash cold. Um, it leaves a cooling effect rather than like when I do the warm, it, it feels like it pulls from my muscles and it's like just tearing my muscles from the inside. I don't know. It just That's just the way my body responds. So if you haven't tried a cooler Epsom salt bath and you're sore, maybe try it. Um, so I'm taking about three of those a week still. Uh, and then um, as far as workouts go, like consistently, uh, I'm still pushing really hard. Uh, maximum weight, maximum reps. Um, so we'll keep the fullness but starting to shred down. And overall mentally I'm feeling really good like right now is about the time I feel like where you either stay positive or you just like start to plummet um, my mindset is just so positive right now that it's it's just like I'm so grateful for the people around me that are helping me through this process I made a post like a couple of days ago not a couple of days ago like a week ago about um, I'm very thankful for the people around me and it takes a lot of people to build you know a a championship person a championship team a championship anything in business it takes more than one person so I feel like right now with all the help and the guidance and you know uh, support that I have from all of these like resources that I do I feel unstoppable right now I feel like I'm in such a good place mentally because I'm I have the support that I do so I think it's really important right now to, to maintain that mentality that like it's not it's not I can't solely do this by myself and it's not just about me it's about number one the reason why I do this and I love to train and I love to you know compete is because of the people that I'm inspiring to do that or just like lift a weight or just like not put a cheeseburger in their mouth every single day like <laughs> that that for me is ultimately my main goal and my purpose and you know my passion for doing this it's not to place it's not you know if you if you follow me already on my social media you know that it's not about placement for me it's about development and and growth and if, as long as I can get up on stage knowing that I've developed in a certain way or I've grown in a certain area of, of competing not physically but even mentally then I've you know I've already succeeded so right now six weeks out mentally in such a good place because of the amount of support that I have and from different recent you know sources like and and everyone just wanting to continue to support that and it's it's driving me it's pushing me it's making me better so um, we're in a fucking really good place I'm sitting in so we'll see what Kim has to say you'll meet you'll meet Kim um, obviously you if you are in the bodybuilding industry you know about body by O and you know Kim because he's just awesome and he's like my dad um, we have that like not to mention our silver hair um, but we have that like father-daughter relationship where we just pick on each other and I really do genuinely care about him as a person and and not just as a coach um, so you'll kind of see the interaction and and he's probably gonna give me a lot of shit because he does so we will see Everyone meet my coach, Papa Kimbo. This is like my daddy. 
Oh, good lord. We I'm share, we share multiple like that, like that. similarities, like including our hair. Yeah. Yeah. We both younger. use silver shampoo. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to change <laughs> and we're going to have a look see. <laughs> your center shots are very good because this is your most comfortable you know, pose. The only one we'll watch is whether or not we're going to make adjustment on a tilt, depending upon, because that, that just, you know, if you're going to the chiropractor, we'll have them adjust you, you know, maybe 10 days out, so we we'll get keep the alignment right. If your alignment starts to get out, then we'll adjust it and tweak it by how we uh, tilt your model. And then from the back, don't squeeze too far back, because you have that really good lower body. You have that full lower body. As we get the body weight down more, then the waistline to shoulder ratio will continue to improve. So you don't have to squeeze back. You're gonna be able to open up. The detail will come in because the conditioning will come in. So the detail will start to fill in the blanks. But it's just because you got that fullness in your lower body, you don't wanna to go too narrow up top. You wanna to keep your shoulders outside your quads. Good. You can see the difference of when you first wake up in the morning yeah. into when you come in at noontime and you have two or three meals in you. Yeah. So this stays all in. You see how you're nice and square across your shoulders. This is your good side. This is the side your body goes. This is where I want to keep bringing in. I want to keep reducing and opening up this. Keep you square across here. And then from the back side, you're starting to see the hamstring glutes this is getting cleaner, which makes this look more bubbly. Okay. So the glutes are getting more roundness. The difference between last year and this year are your glutes. That's the difference. Your back width is good. You actually show a little bit better taper, which is odd. You show a little better taper front to back. Your, okay. I think the front side shows more, which means we just got to keep working on low lat tie-ins. Okay. Okay. So all in all, very good. We are at a whopping 140. We're going to go all the way down to 120. Yes. Yeah. Stick girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're going to have food every other day. So one day you have food, the next day water and asparagus. We'll rotate them. <laughs> oh, there's no tilapia in there? Mm, it's too early for fish. <laughs> you grow gills. Alright, we'll make this be one quarter cup. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave your your glycogen a little bit more balanced. I'm not gonna pull it out anywhere. Okay. I'm gonna whittle things, but I'm gonna to try to leave it consistent through the day okay. and just kind of play with it a little bit everywhere. Okay. And then that way we you know we stay in a good place. Print this out. Good job. Good job. Good thank job. You, thank you. Thank you. And we'll. Uh, I feel. We'll uh, I feel a belt. Um, squeezy belt. We are. Working. Oh yeah, squeezy belt. What does Kim say? We gotta bring in the waist. Okay, Kim. Yeah, I'd say squishy. We're waist. bringing in the waist. Look at that. The squishy waist. <laughs> you, you you can be careful because oh, you can smell one. calories. You can put on the pounds yeah, yeah, by smelling. This is yeah, what my coach says. So. He he fucking makes me <laughs> die. Makes oh my tough. gosh. She put how you pronounce them no, on there for this you. This is not toughness. It's not mental tough. That's just torture. Them, so, all in all, good visit with Kim. Um, obviously, as you guys have seen, we are right on track. So that's the only thing that that matters to me. And we make the adjustments and we keep moving forward. So, um, next six weeks, time to basically crush it. It's go time. So. On the way back from long trips like this, we have prepped meals ready to go and no fork necessary. We're going to crush this with my hands. That's why we eat.